This is um, the brush of all things. With this brush, you can draw the world. There's no limitation to what you can draw with this brush. Well, the Quatrefoil was born in 1983. It came to me in a dream, and the Quatrefoil said, form me and paint me, and I will heal you. And I recognized it immediately as a mandala. A mandala is something that occurs in the mind as an image, as a symbol of wholeness. So the quatrefoil is the center of my practice. Three quarters of my paintings are quatrefoils. It has through it a Greek heterodox cross of equal proportions, and it has four circles on that, and it forms a feminine cruciform. And the feminine form is anima, and anima informs all males in their creativity. The male is useless without the female principle. So the quatrefoil was in my childhood in St. David's. It was um, in the pews, it was overhead, it was small, it was large, it was in the stained glass windows. We used to go along at 10.30 and sit in the back row and watch everybody come in. And I was a very troubled teenager and I went to Owen Barrick Wanoth for advice. And his sermons were mind boggling. I go through various stages of being a boy, being an adolescent, being a man, being an old man in relation to St. David's. And I see it as a major cathedral in a major city, the major city in New Zealand. It's extraordinary, we're at the point of trying to save it. It shouldn't have ever got to this stage. And St. David's must be saved at all costs, must be saved. I see my paintings as part of Kandinsky's modernism. My paintings exist to uh, raise the spirit in the community and make for a better community. They're ritualistic objects of sacred value.